Good morning, folks. It is March 18, and I wanted to come to you with a short commentary to answer probably one of the biggest questions that we've been getting from many of the clients with regards to um, how long is this thing going to last? How deep is it going to go? And again, even looking at the futures market this morning, uh, again, we're seeing big down markets, and of course, you know, thousand point swings in the market every day. And you know, for many people, this may be the first recession or bear market they've invested through. Uh, since the last one, again, back uh, 12 years ago. So we just wanted to bring some clarity with regards to what we're experiencing with, uh, with the virus. So this is an event-driven um, downturn, which obviously we've talked about many times, bear markets don't die of old age, right? And expansions don't die of old age. They're uh, essentially killed either by poor fiscal policy or monetary policy. Um, or some type of uh, outlier event and, and like this and uh, like we've seen in the past that we've seen, uh, you know, uh, mirrors and SARS and swine flu and uh, various outbreaks. Uh, we have, uh, again, earthquakes, you know, like the Japan earthquake and disruptions that we see. So I wanted to kind of bring some clarity to this. So I'm, I'm going to share my screen with you. Uh, I do want to say before I do that, that Again, this is not uh, 2008. Uh, again, it's not a bubble that's been burst and, and lots of, uh, um, again, disruption in the market due to an economic downturn. Um, and then it's not, you know, a 2000 tech bubble where, uh, again, uh, companies were being priced excessively high with no justification of earnings. So a month ago, if you and I would have talked, we would have said the economy was quite strong. And uh, again, other than a, a contraction that we'll see that's going to be pretty severe, um, I don't think the duration of it will last uh, as long as many of you think. So not years or decades that we take, and, and, uh, and I will kind of show you why. So if you, you kind of look at my screen, um, and again, this is research put together by many of our great partners. This is actually from Goldman Sachs. And what the chart does is kind of brings to light, you know, all the sectors and, and how their potential impact will be felt with the coronavirus. And so obviously we know some sectors are going to be hurt by more by others. And, you know, for example, we could see an 80% disruption to, um, you know, sporting events and, and um, um, you know, uh, going out, entertainment, movies, things of that nature. Uh, as we kind of hunker down and, and uh, try to disrupt the, the spread of the virus, these industries are going to be hurt quite uh, quite extensively. So travel and and um, you can see in a major hit would be public transportation. We can see uh, you know we, we see a lot about restaurants and hotels and and um, things of that nature. Yes, they're going to take a pretty good hit, about fifty percent. And then other sectors, more of a limited hit. Healthcare actually being positively affected and more money is being spent on that sector to um, uh, meet the virus and, and the needs of, of the nation. So um, the next thing we look at is, again, it's, its impact on GDP, right? So, for example, you know, we can see hospitality, uh, hotels, restaurants, things of that nature. It's going to take about a 50% hit but it has a, a negative effect to GDP about 2.4%. And because again, it, it's total impact on GDP as a whole, as opposed to uh, goods and services minus food or X food, we see even though it has a limited hit due to the coronavirus, it actually is gonna negatively affect GDP. Uh, we expect this year about you know, minus 3.2%. So the way we would look at this chart is again, you see some things positively affecting GDP, but the majority of other things negatively affecting GDP. So we think, you know, again, a, a subtraction of GDP, our initial forecast of roughly six to 7%, right? So again, this commerce is still happening. People are still working from home. People are still um, uh, performing lots of great essential services in our community. Uh, we're just now practicing what we call not fearful, but mindful activity, social distancing, things of that nature. So what does that mean uh, for total, you know, the effect on GDP? If we look at our next chart here, the dotted line is actually the initial projected forecast of GDP for 2020. 
So <clears throat> you can even see that we had projected really kind of zero GDP growth in the second quarter anyway. And then, you know, again, rebounding the second half of the year. The solid line, again, is now our new prediction based on the effects of the coronavirus and the previous sectors and impacts that I just shared with you. So you can see, obviously, we're going to have negative effects to uh, first quarter and second quarter GDP. And probably the most significant effect, obviously, in the second quarter. And we think, again, that we will be able to get our arms around this virus. As you can see, we've got a, a global response in a significant fashion from uh, the private sector as well as the government, uh, both in monetary policy and fiscal policy. So uh, we do think, again, that people will also in the long run not change their behaviors. I mean, we are a nation of great consumers, and that's why you can see, again, consumption effects of GDP are significant, but once we remove the, um, again, the barriers of, of, you know, this virus and we get it under control, we will go back to doing the things that we used to do. We, we like to go out and eat dinner together. We like to go out and watch movies and go to sporting events. And so uh, long story short is I think you'll see a pretty strong rebound in the second half of the year. And then, um, you know, again, most people's projections for year end have not changed by much, meaning uh, we still expect the S&P 500 to end the year, you know, in that 3000 range, 3200, 3300, um, which is where we were prior to the outbreak. Right. So um, to give you some idea, yeah, I don't think this is something like 2008 where it takes years for your portfolios and the market and uh, the economy to actually recover because I do think you'll have quite a bit of pent up demand, both, uh, you know, in, in consumer spending and, and as well as companies that will rebound in the second half of the year. So um, I do think technically you'll be, you'll see it classified as a recession. So uh, Niebuhr, which is the uh, national Bureau of economic research will probably classify this as a, as a recession may see two quarters of negative GDP, uh, but certainly one uh, big downturn in, in the second quarter. And then uh, obviously we've experienced a bear market, you know, that greater than a, a 20% decline. So um, that being said, um, uh, we think again, this will be kind of a short lived event, not that it's not painful and not that it's uh, a roller coaster ride that we don't enjoy. And then you know, not that our hearts don't go out to, again, all the families that are affected by this personally, whether they have somebody that's ill or they've actually lost somebody to it. Um, this is a significant event, as we mentioned in our previous video. Um, but just to give you some kind of idea uh, to a question that's been asked most free, frequently, that we will get through this. We will we'll get through the other side of this and it will be in 2020. So uh, uh, hang in there. I know, again, it, it's uh, a rough ride, but uh, we hear the word feel, you know, I feel like, well, that's a, that's a terrible word when you think about investing because we don't want to trade on emotions and um, we want to trade with facts. So hopefully this brings some clarification to the data that we're actually looking at and uh, it will give you a little bit of peace of mind as well. You know, our phones are always open. Uh, our email is open. Uh, you guys reach out and communicate again. We're going to walk with you through this uh, as we do any type of economic cycle. So we appreciate you. We appreciate the trust. And uh, we will be back with you when we have uh, more to report. Okay. Thanks. Have a great day, guys.